Whether you are building a blog or an e-commerce website, there is one thing that you can't live without. That is content management system to create, manage and store your valuable content on server. In this video, we will be deep diving into sanity as your CMS for your new shiny website or app. It's time to say goodbye to complicated and cheap WordPress hosting and say hello to expensive cloud billings. Now first thing first, what is sanity and why you need content management system for your website. Let's start with the basics. Content management system is a system designed to create and manage and store content which is displayed on your website or app. Content can be anything like collection of blog articles or products etc. CMS provides you a layer to interact with content without any need for technical understanding which simply means any dumb kid can create hundreds of blog and call himself web developer aka WordPress developer. Sanity is purely focused on content and managing it. It is a headless CMS which means backend and frontend is separate. Sanity is at your backend and for your frontend you can use any framework of your choice to display the content. This provides a significant advantage and flexibility for web developer without compromising on SEO or performance. In fact my own website devashrx.com I have used Sanity as headless CMS. Link to my website is in the description if you want to visit. Sanity sounds good, but the real question is, is it easy to use, is it scalable and most importantly, is it customizable? Let me give you a quick rundown on how to install it, but this is not a crash course, so I will make it short and quick overview for better understanding. Sanity has three essential concepts, Sanity Studio, Sanity API and Content Lake. Sanity Studio is a customizable UI layer used for interaction with database. Sanity APIs are APIs used to interact with the database programmatically. Content Lake is Sanity's own database server of Sanity where all content is stored and processed. To install Sanity, you will need npm command. npm create Sanity at latest. This will install Sanity Studio and after installation you have to open project in VS Code. And here there are two important files. Sanity config JS which contain all configurations and the schema file which contains schema of your content. Now let's create a simple e-commerce product database in Sanity as an example. First create a schema for your content which will include product name, description, price, inventory, volume and other essential metadata. This schema will be stored in product JS file which will be imported into index.js file. Now let's run our project with npm command npm run dev. This will start a local host server open it in the web browser this is your sanity studio login into your sanity account and your cms dashboard is ready to use here now you can create product and manage it now you are ready to use sanity as headless cms for your e-commerce website in your front end you can fetch your product database using sanity's own custom query language known as grok g r o q this is just an oversimplified view of the sanity integration in your website if you need a full blown crash course on sanity then let me know in the comments below sanity is easy integration in website but the real question is is it scalable and is it customizable when it comes to scaling the good news is sanity is a serverless which means you as a developer and entrepreneur don't need to go through hassle of managing database server sanity manage it for you and you don't have to worry about server infrastructure just build your product and deploy it when it comes to customizing sanity studio ui sanity has a component api which modify visual and looks and feel of sanity studio ui but but you need to learn react.js for it because it is built on top of react component and there is some learning curve here but it is customizable according to your needs now let's look at pros and cons of using sanity as cms the biggest advantage is its pricing model if you are a small business or a solo entrepreneur then you can literally use sanity for free there is free usage quota of 100 gigabyte of bandwidth and storage and 1 million api request per month which is good enough to build any startup and in future if your usage increases you can always pay 15 usd per month if needed Second big advantage is it provides flexibility to use any front end for your website. Next.js, Astro, Vue, any modern web framework can be used with Sanity and it is easy to use. Now the disadvantage of Sanity. The one obvious disadvantage is vendor lock-ins. If you have lot of content on Sanity and if you decide to change your CMS then it is little difficult to move your content out of Sanity. Second day disadvantage which I find out is if you are a small business or a solo entrepreneur then you have to take in consideration 
consideration the volume of content and how often you update the content. Volume of content means how many units of content you will be publishing in total. Sanity has a limit of 100k in free version and 25k for paid version. Yes, you can increase it by getting a custom pricing by contacting sales team of Sanity. Another important thing is how often you update your content. If you have low volume of content and you update it daily, weekly, monthly, then Sanity is a perfect choice for you. Else you might have to get custom pricing and I'm not sure whether a custom pricing will be affordable or not for small business or individual. If you are a large business, then this won't be an issue. That's it for today. I hope you got value from this video. Give thumbs up and share it with your friends. Have a nice day and bye bye.